Okay, Resurrection Remix, uh, the latest version is here for the mutual devices, which means Redmi Note 9s, Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, and Poco M2 Pro. All of these devices can install this build on their devices. And of course, Resurrection Remix is not updated to Android version 11. It is still Android version 10, but most of the people always use this build on their devices because of some reasons, for example, customizations. And yes, it includes a lot of customizations. It's kind of a hub of customizations customizations many customizations which sometimes you use some customizations you don't use but these are a lot i tried this custom on, on my all devices till now and i was fully satisfied with the terms of fluidity customizations and all in the terms of battery backup i saw some little bit of things disappointing things because the battery backup was not seems to be up to the mark but still of course if you are getting some cool customizations you might need to compromise some things First of all, as you can see, this is the Google Camera Go Edition and let me just tell you that this is the Google Camera which I haven't installed. It's pre-installed. If you're a user of these devices, you can simply install this build and you will get the Google Camera Go Edition pre-installed on your devices, which means you don't need to install this. Alongside with this Google Camera Go Edition, you also get the ANX camera which might be a MIUI camera. It's also pre-installed. And yes, two cameras pre-installed. I'm not sure why, but yes, we have these. So Google Camera Go Edition, alongside with this, we have both these Google cameras, both these cameras pre-installed. So it's up to you, whichever you want to use. If you want to use the MIUI related camera, ANX camera, you can install this. It also has these options like sticker avatar, which is of course not working but features are present. The main features should definitely work like photo, video, portrait and etc. If these features are working fine, then you no need to worry about anything. This is Resurrection Remix latest 8.7.0 if I'm not wrong and based on Android version 10. One of the best things about Android 10 is the stability. Some apps which were not compatible with Android 11 are compatible with Android version 10. As you can see, we also tried to use the Gcam, but let me just, as you can see, I already saw that Gcam 8.1, the second version which I tried installing today, that was experimental version, that was not working. I'm not sure why, but you can try out some other Gcams, you have the option available for that. And like, that, like this, if we move on to the battery stats which we have on our hands right now, the battery stats includes this kind of options, 10% approximately of active drainage, which isn't that bad, but it's not that up to the mark. In some custom rooms, we are having approximately of 6 to 7%, maybe 8% of battery drainage, but it has more than 10%. Of course, I haven't used it for much time, by the way. So things are actually normal, but you might get good kind of battery backup. I'm not sure, but you might get. These are the things you get here in the battery backup and sector because I was not able to test the battery backup. But I tried testing the Geekbench scores and the good thing is Geekbench score seems to be very good 579 and 1641. Of course these Geekbench scores does not matter at all but yes the features and options are present for you and if you believe in these scores if you want to use these scores then it's up to you. 579 is the single core 1641 is the multi core which isn't the bad score I tried some other customers also that was looking good. The default launcher is the normal one in the default launcher you also has the app locker which is very good the best part is you have the app locker here you have the app locker in settings also so you have app locker available everywhere which looks quite good and the thing is it doesn't come with the pixel apps all those google apps so yes always has a vanilla build you need to install google apps on your own so it's all it's all about your preference if you use a full google apps package you might get the pixel launcher that will replace it but if you use a normal google apps package you might get this default launcher as you just saw security permissions etc has the same kind of ui no extra changes it also has these customization section resurrection tools which looks quite good but everything else seems to be same xiaomi parts not included unfortunately in the customization section we have a lot of customizations if i go and explore all these customizations the video might be so long so yes i don't think so i should share with you as you are already seeing that it includes a lot of customizations for example if you move on to the resurrection themes as you can see my navigation bar style is also changed i chosen the one ui style you can also customize the radius and height you can customize the fonts you can customize anything a lot of things are available to customize so this is up to you one of the best custom rooms out there of course the terms of customizations yes and if you want to install this link is in the description installation is quite simple like other custom rooms so but one thing you need to keep in mind is you need to install google apps on your own this was all thanks for watching
over the edge Feel like I'm floating through the air